how did we come to be standing in this beautiful part of the world ready to watch these two take the next step in their life together? Like most of really good love stories, Whitney and Will's story began a long, long time ago. So mine and Whitney's relationship really started on the first day I landed in Australia, pretty much exactly 10 years ago. I instantly realized what a fun, caring, beautiful person she was. And given my fairly reserved character until I've had a beer, someone who instantly made me a better person. We've had some incredible moments together from landing a helicopter on top of a glacier in New Zealand exploring multiple countries together and of course having our two gorgeous boys. Your personality is the most infectious I know and you're the most beautiful person I've ever met. I'm sure that you all agree that having a Whitney in life is just something I'm extremely lucky to have and I can't wait to see what else life throws at us now you're officially at Mrs Ivan's. She has got herself to the other side of the world with a great husband, nice house, great job, two lovely children. As a family, we couldn't be more proud of her. I'm sure they all agree the lives they've built for themselves here in Australia is really something. And I can say I'm so proud of what they've both achieved. So I'd now like to end my speech with three promises. I promise to always be listening when your friends are telling you not to upset me. I promise to do anything and everything for you and our family. And I promise to spend forever making you as happy as you make me. So if you'd all like to stand and join me to a toast to my best friend and the love of my life, the new Mrs. Whitney Ivers. No, a massive congratulations to Whitney and Will. You are both very special to me, and yeah, all all the love and happiness in the world. Congratulations, and yeah, 